realize that uh, I'm, I'm not impressed with his views on, on, on climate. It's not a personal matter. I just think that we're way past time where it's responsible for any national leader to reject the science behind the climate crisis. This is the biggest challenge that our civilization faces, and we need to get on with solutions. It's eight years since your film, An Inconvenient Truth, came out. Or are we in a better place now than we were eight years ago, or worse? I, I think we are. I think that the Great Recession in 2008 and 2009 kind of rocked a lot of people back and refocused them exclusively on jobs and economic uh, activity. And I think that that uh, uh, kind of put things in neutral for a while. But I think that the knowledge of the climate crisis, both the dangers it presents to us and the opportunities it presents to us, is now far more widespread than it was seven or eight years ago. You talk about the knowledge. Prime Minister Abbott famously described the science behind human-induced climate change as absolute crap. Hmm. I mean, do you think that's is that knowledgeable? No. No, I, I, I don't think it's responsible to dismiss the, the science behind the climate crisis. I've covered the fires, the forest fires here in Australia, uh, floods. One of the things often people will say to you when you say to them, is this global warming in effect? Yeah. Uh, the petri dish of climate change, if you like, happening in yeah. Australia. And they say, well, it's always been like this. There's always been floods. There's always been drought. Uh, that's just the way Australia is. That's what Tony Abbott says. <laughs> well, uh, the science doesn't support that view. Of course, there have always been fires.